step into the world of Nocturna, a 1979 film that promises an array of surprises funny, shocking, and even sad. This cinematic gem has endured over the years, becoming a symbol of the industry. What makes it stand the test of time? That's a question worth pondering as you delve into its captivating narrative. Nocturna introduces viewers to a fantastical realm where darkness holds sway. Amidst this backdrop, we follow the journey of its characters, each with their own struggles and triumphs. The film weaves together elements of comedy, drama, and mystery, keeping audiences on the edge of their seats throughout. Perhaps you recall the first time you watched Nocturna. Whether it was decades ago or just yesterday, the impact of its story likely left a lasting impression. And as you revisit it now, you may find yourself rediscovering its magic once again. We invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this movie. Your stories add depth to the tapestry of Nocturna's legacy, enriching our appreciation for this timeless classic. So, what's your tale? We'd love to hear it in the comment entrance below. Keep watching for more funny, shocking, and sad facts about Nocturna. The journey is just beginning. In the late 1970s, a wave of disco-themed films hit the big screen, including Nocturna. Directed by Harry Hurwitz, this movie opens with a humorous scene featuring Dracula, played by John Carradine, rising from his grave. Nocturna, tired of her undead existence, ventures into the world of the living alongside her human companion, transitioning the film from horror comedy to a dance-centric narrative set in New York. Despite some overly prolonged scenes, the story concludes with the customary happy ending, adding a romantic touch. While the trailer teases a vampire-centric plot, the film primarily showcases comedic moments, notably the transformation of vampires into animated bats, a somewhat rudimentary yet effective visual effect. In an attempt to boost its appeal, a post-production scene featuring Nye Bonet was added, but it received mixed reactions due to its inclusion feeling out of place. Though John Carradine delivers a Kamalantrindable performance, the overall acting quality, particularly from Bonet, leaves much to be desired. Nocturna struggled to find an audience upon release, ultimately becoming a rare rental only release with copies, now Kamalantrinding high prices in the collector's market. In essence, Nocturna stands as a unique relic of its time, offering a blend of horror, comedy, and dance elements. Whether it's worth a watch ultimately depends on one's appreciation for its distinctive charm. Nocturna, the 1979 film, swiftly transitioned from filming in autumn 78 to screening by March 79, barely five months later. It marked Anthony Hamilton's debut, billed as Tony Hamilton, in a notable role. Hamilton, renowned for portraying Count Dracula in several films, including House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, and Billy the Kid vs. Dracula, added his touch to the character in Nocturna. The movie, directed by Harry Hurwitz, showcases a blend of horror, comedy, and dance, departing from traditional vampire narratives. John Carradine's portrayal of Dracula adds depth, contrasting with mixed reviews for Nye Bonet's performance. Despite its unique approach, Nocturna struggled to find its audience initially, eventually becoming a sought-after collectible. It remains a distinctive relic of its era, blending genres to create a memorable cinematic experience. Harry Hurwitz, credited as Harry Tampa, directed the film, which marked his last appearance under that name. A German release promoted the film as a tender nightmare, offering a glimpse into its eerie charm. Notably, dancers from Saturday Night Fever filled the Starship Discovery disco scenes, adding a familiar touch to the dance sequences. As the story unfolded, it captivated audiences with its mysterious allure, drawing them into the fantastical world crafted by the director. With each scene, he masterfully intertwined elements of fantasy and reality, blurring the lines between dreams and waking life. The characters, brought to life by a talented cast, resonated deeply with viewers, leaving a lasting impression long after the credits rolled. Indeed, the film's legacy endured, etching itself into the annals of cinematic history as a timeless classic cherished by generations of moviegoers worldwide. Its impact reverberated far beyond its initial release, inspiring countless artists and film filmalantrakers to explore the realms of imagination with renewed vigor. And so, the tale of Nocturna continues to enchant and enthrall, reminding us of the power of storytelling to transcend boundaries and touch the depths of the human soul. Thus concludes the narrative of this remarkable film, a testament to the vision and creativity of its creator, Harry Hurwitz, whose legacy lives on in every frame. 
Nocturna, released alongside Love at first bite in the late 70s, shares uncanny similarities with its counterpart. Both films blend horror and comedy against the backdrop of Transylvania and New York. Interestingly, they feature actors with the surname Hamilton George and Anthony, respectively. Monica Tidwell, a 73 Playboy playmate, adds a dash of allure to the cast. Gloria Gaynor's reluctant rendition of Love is just a heartbeat away offers insight into the movie's soundtrack. Despite her reservations about its quality, her courtesy to her manager, later husband, led to its inclusion. Directed by Harry Hurwitz, Nocturna's fast-paced production transitioned swiftly from filming to screening, showcasing Anthony Hamilton's debut. The film's narrative diverges from traditional vampire tales opting for a dance-centric approach. John Carradine's portrayal of Dracula adds depth to the story, contrasting with mixed reviews for Nye Bonet's performance. In essence, Nocturna stands as a unique relic of its time, offering a blend of horror, comedy, and dance elements. Whether it's worth a watch ultimately depends on one's appreciation for its distinctive charm, woven into every scene by Harry Hurwitz. Nocturna, released alongside Love at First Bite in the late 70s, shares uncanny similarities with its counterpart. Both films blend horror and comedy against the backdrop of Transylvania and New York. Interestingly, they feature actors with the surname Hamilton George and Anthony, respectively. Monica Tidwell, a 73 Playboy playmate, adds a dash of allure to the cast. Gloria Gaynor's reluctant rendition of Love is just a heartbeat away offers insight into the movie's soundtrack. Despite her reservations about its quality, her courtesy to her manager later husband led to its inclusion. Directed by Harry Hurwitz, the film's fast-paced production transitioned swiftly from filming to screening, showcasing Anthony Hamilton's debut. Its narrative diverges from traditional vampire tales, opting for a dance-centric approach. John Carradine's portrayal of Dracula adds depth to the story, contrasting with mixed reviews for Nye Bonet's performance. In essence, Nocturna stands as a unique relic of its time, offering a blend of horror, comedy, and dance elements. Whether it's worth a watch ultimately depends on one's appreciation for its distinctive charm, woven into every scene by Harry Hurwitz. Nocturna from 1979 presents a blend of horror, comedy, and dance, setting itself apart from traditional vampire narratives. Directed by Harry Hurwitz, the film swiftly transitioned from filming to screening within months. Anthony Hamilton, known for his portrayal of Count Dracula in various films, made his debut in Nocturna, adding his touch to the character. John Carradine's portrayal of Dracula adds depth to the story, contrasting with mixed reviews for Nye Bonet's performance. Notably, scenes featuring Carradine and Yvonne De Carlo were shot within a week, showcasing their efficiency as actors. The Starship Discovery One Disco, a three-story establishment akin to Studio 54, provided a unique backdrop for dance sequences. Dancers from Saturday Night Fever filled the disco scenes, adding familiarity to the dance sequences. Despite initial struggles to find its audience, Nocturna remains a sought-after collectible, offering a distinctive cinematic experience. Its narrative, diverging from traditional vampire tales, revolves around Nocturna's journey into the world of the living, accompanied by her human companion. Whether it's worth a watch ultimately depends on one's appreciation for its distinctive charm, woven into every scene by Harry Hurwitz.